should use this. That's okay. Let's use this little bump plug here.
Right. Try to keep my hand out of the camp out of the way here, but <clears throat> left handed it. It's tricky sometimes. Brushes are going to come up like this, I think. Yeah, that's fine. And then uh, the brush here. Like that. I'll just outline the uh, branches here first, just so I remember. Going pretty quickly. Usually, I go with a heavier detail, but this is just an exercise. Okay.
if anyone's wondering, I'm using the uh, Ultrafine uh, fountain pen. It's about a 0.38 approximately. Um, if that matters, it's, uh, oh, don't ask me why it's coming out backwards, but it's called Woodsworth Black. I'll try to remember to put the link down in the description. It's on Amazon. They're about 40 bucks. There's a $5 coupon off, $5 off coupon on right now, actually, as well. So 40, oh, that'd be about uh, 30 US. Uh, what would that be? 28 euros, I think. Or 1.5 million rubles. These little pine branches are just little hatch lines I'm making. If anyone out there is uh, tech savvy, explain to me why my uh, my image is mirror is flipped around mirror reverse. I cannot figure that out. I, I did Google it, and apparently YouTube was it was something that YouTube apparently fixed like four years ago. But well, why am I still? Uh, having that issue, so something with my camera settings maybe.
So I'm actually using ink cartridges on this pen here. Um, I can use a uh, this fountain thing here to draw ink out of the ink, uh, ink well. But it gives me the option where I can pull this guy out and swap it out with an ink cartridge inside, which I've done. So, so I'm not having to go back and forth and dip. So it may not be the most popular YouTube channel as of yet, but you'd be guaranteed to, when you come here, not to uh, hear any uh, conspiracy theories or anything about politics or anything like that. I'll try to sound a little more, um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, enthusiastic. on my uh, videos here. But sometimes I'm a bit tired. Uh, I have an architectural firm. I provide uh, architectural drawings for people uh, for permits and for homes and renovations, additions. So usually when I'm doing these videos in the evening, I'm a bit tired out sometimes. And uh, so my enthusiasm is, is a bit down. So we got a long weekend coming up, so maybe on that Friday or Saturday, I'll sound a little more uh, upbeat. Because, yeah, somebody made that comment. And uh, it was a bit derogatory. So, actually, uh, but my, I bit my tongue and just said, okay, well, it's fine. It's very easy, easy to go overboard on this here. That one's there. We'll, uh, so I'm picking up the fibers of the paper and they're catching on the uh, end of the nib there and bunching up. So. <clears throat> okay. 
put a little bush right here. So you can kind of see I got the foreground, middle ground, and background, and I got the mountains in the distance. But uh, you know, it's obvious what I'm doing here. I'm using the hatching to indicate uh, separation of objects and, and shadow and light as well. So I leave these areas here um, blank just to indicate like the light, and these hatched areas here. Uh, the shadowed areas. This is turning out better than I thought it would. It uh, should uh, make me sound a little more motivated. There we go. I like doing these large rocks. Um, mixing them in with the, uh, the small trees. And I'll do some grass areas here. Another boulder up here. Into the paper here, yeah, that 
I bought this drawing book, yard store. Oh, I didn't, uh, sometimes I buy these drawing books and I just throw them onto my bookshelf and don't use them. So I just sort of started using them recently for whatever it is on my mind, right? So I thought I'd maybe start doing some tutorials inside of it as well. And, uh, you know, just whatever thoughts I have in my head with this thing here, with the project I'm working on. I should probably put something on the back of it so I'm not having to hold it down with my, my right hand. Yes, I could uh, have an idea. Isn't that a ruler? I could ruler through it. Oh, here. I can do this. So just slide a ruler like this. Oh. Uh, oops. And then I can just sort of hold it down there. Right? So that, should, that should help, I think. Yeah, that seems to work. I could usually have my right hand just in sort of a relaxed position. And uh, so I can kind of do that because I can use the weight of my hand to hold the book from, you know, moving around, right? I just adjust it there. Okay.
Hey, it's starting to actually look like something. There we go. So I'm anticipating this whole thing will take me about an hour, which is good. It's, it's the time I like to make my, uh, I would ideally like to make my um, YouTube live videos. I've gone beyond that. Uh, I see those on the weekend, so I have a little more energy. That wasn't. Uh, coming from working all day so so maybe this friday or saturday or sunday a little bit monday i'll uh, put in some longer maybe two hour videos let's see
mountains in the background. Well, actually, no, first, sorry. I think that's yeah, as far as I'm going to go with that. I'm going to start doing the uh, background now. So, first, I'm going to draw this the plain area here. So, I'm going to do very, very simple, just like that. If you know, that's all. And then the uh, so I mean the background has four, one two three four different parts. So, um, so the next group would be a uh, the first row of uh, hells uh, the trees. So I'm just going to do like a bunch of hatches like this. I don't want to put too much detail in where I'm just trying, because this is the main focus. This is just background hoopla, right? Bling bling. So I won't put too much detail in the background just so it doesn't uh, uh, take away from this, right? Because you, your, your eye is supposed to be drawn here, not to the background. And your background is supposed to lead you to here, but, right? So I'm just going to do these vertical little lines. Try not to be too uh, on your rows, so I don't want it to look too artificial. Just be fairly random with my lengths. And not to be like going do 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 like this, right? Like a typewriter. I don't want to do that. So. This wouldn't look natural. Maybe I'll just do a few of them. Things like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm just doing some long vertical lines with a few uh, horizontal hats to indicate a few tall trees, right? I was going to do the top of my hill. And now I, I, I drew this pencil on earlier. I think it would be better to come up higher. I was a little bit worried about this being um, blending in too much with the background here, but I think it should be okay. I think, that's, I think that's fine with that. So next hill. I'll kind of go like this. I'll try to go a bit lighter.
kind of had to slow myself down there a bit because I was getting a little bit sloppy there. So I'm going to just pace myself a bit here. I'm going to check my other page. Yeah, I probably should have put a sheet of paper on the back here because it did feed through a bit. So probably next time I'll put something behind here, right? There's something i got to remind myself to do. It's going to darken this part up here a bit more. Just a little bit at the top of this uh, first L here. Yeah, that's fine. So that's the uh, tree line in there. I'm going to put some uh, rocky snow covered mountains up here. them out a bit. So my light source, I guess you probably figured that out by now, my light source is over here. You don't have to go high, super detailed, you know, just and you know, wave at your line and then just some hatches, you know, and that's all you really need to do for your background, right?
giving them a pencil lines here. I don't usually draw my pencil lines this dark. I just did it so that you guys can see them. So I, I wouldn't even have to erase them usually. Seems kind of black. I'm gonna put in a little little mountain right here. So this is like his little brother. There we go. So, I mean, I guess if I wanted to go further with this, I could uh, use an ink wash and draw in some sky and, uh, and some shadow on this drawing, but uh, I think that's about it for that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. I'd be so tempted to want to, like, do more you know i've done that a lot where like i'm just about done something and like i'm like 99 percent done and then i want to push the detail or add something new or you know, right, the last one percent or about to finish it i i, I, I do something to, to um, ruin it so that's um it's actually pretty common apparently, so I'm trying to avoid doing that. So, so I just resist the urge to so that's it, done. I'm not going to do anything more than that. So, uh, <clears throat> so usually I use the uh, these guys here. Um, Sorry if it's appearing backwards on, on the uh, on your screen here with the Statlers, uh, the point one and the point seven, and uh, I got the point threes as well. So I like using those ones, and uh, I also like using the uh, Pentel um, ink brush. I like doing. Um, so you can make really, you can make fine lines or uh, thick lines, and I usually use this for uh, filling in dark areas or, or, or thick lines, and uh, it, kind of, it, it saves my pens ink, so I'm not using so much ink to uh, fill in an, a, an area that's uh, dark. And I, I could have used the ink brush for these little areas here. I mean, I could have. You know, done that right here. You make really nice fine lines that taper off, you know, like thick, right? And then taper off to a small point. Uh, maybe this paper is not the best for this. But, uh, if you do get a chance, I, I recommend you get one of these little ink brushes. And they use a, uh, a, a universal ink cartridge that you can uh, buy. And uh, usually the ink cartridges are fairly universal. So, like, I think I could probably use the same ink cartridges for my fountain pen. I believe I could use the same ones on this. They're a bit smaller. They're not as big. But I think they have the same ends on them, so I should be able to. So the fact that they're smaller, obviously, I'm going to have to replace them twice as often. But my uh, fountain pen here, it came with the 24 cartridges. 
um, that are black and blue. I, I doubt I'm ever going to use the blue, so I might just uh, ask around if I have a friend who has a, uh, a fountain pen, and I'll just give him all the blue ones. And um, so that way I'm not just throwing them out, because uh, otherwise I won't be using them at all, the blue. I'm just using the black. And, uh, this is something else I do. Sometimes I wear this. Um, I bought these little sock little tattoo gloves. So I use that when I'm doing like large drawings. And um, so it keeps my drawings clean. And uh, if I'm doing like a pencil drawing, which I don't often do, but uh, it's uh, something that I'd recommend you do. Right? And, uh, <clears throat> but um, but just like little, I, I call this an exercise. In my mind, this is an exercise, so I don't use super expensive paper like I do with my uh, other other drawings where I've used in the Stettler uh, heavy watercolor paper. So I know I'm, I'm a bit unusual that way where I use uh, watercolor paper and I use uh, ink uh, pens. <clears throat> Sometimes I use these as well. Some of these technical uh, rot wings, but uh, I haven't been using them as much because uh, sometimes they bother me where I've drawn a line and uh, also the ink stops flowing out of them, right? So they skip a lot. They do really nice work, uh, but they're very high maintenance. Um, or as it seems with the uh, fountain pen and especially the uh, fine liners, you just Pop the cap off and away you go. You know, obviously, you gotta replace these guys. So, but what I actually do is these uh, ones as they fade away, um, I keep them. And uh, so, let's say this one is faded. I put like a little ink dot on there to indicate that it's starting to fade. And I would actually use those faded uh, ink pens for doing like uh, shading. So, I can go like on, on the side, right? and do uh, light uh, shading. So I get like different, almost like different gray tones with uh, ink pens. And uh, that's that's kind of good too. You're, getting, um, <clears throat> you're not having to throw away your, your faded uh, pens as they start to fade on you, right? You can use them and uh, so that becomes an actual bonus as they start to fade on you. The, uh, the little ink cartridge that I had pulled. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, sorry, not the ink cartridge. There's a uh, inside the pen here. I'll actually open it up for you here without making a huge mess. So that's the little ink cartridge here that uh, gives you the option of using um, this thing here, which the ink cartridge it just would, would fit inside there, right? So if you had, uh, grab it here. So if you had a little bottle of ink, right? You can just, uh, you know, draw from that, right? With this little uh, thing here, right? So yeah, so you just you just turn it like that. And it pulls the ink up. Not to really try that sometimes. But I mean, I got like these 24 ink cartridges here. Again, I'm not going to use the blue ink cartridges. I'm just going to use the black. So I got like the, I got 11 more black ink cartridges. And uh, it's probably going to last me uh, at least a couple of years. So maybe a few years before I even. Uh, use this thing if ever if at all right yeah. <clears throat> well I gave my daughter I got my daughter for Christmas there a few years ago a uh, um, an ink pen 
set for drawing and uh, they were like the uh, the dip kind and the one was a, a glass dip pen. So I'm going to ask her if I can borrow them, borrow it from her and um, try drawing with a glass tip pen. I hear a lot of good things about it. But, um, that'd be something uh, interesting. Um, obviously I'd have to get used to, you know, dipping all the time and uh, I'd probably want to like do something with the, with the uh, thing, maybe I glue a magnet to the bottom and then having a little piece of metal on the table so I'm not, like, if I accidentally hit it, right, and the thing like boom, spills over, I happen to walk away or whatever, right, and knock it. I have no idea. So there's something I can just mount it in, right? <clears throat> so I don't have to worry about accidentally knocking these guys over if I ever do that. So, anyways, um, I think that's about it. I'm just kind of rambling on right now. So I'm just trying to make this one hour. So I figured this would take about an hour, but uh, you know, this, I'm just gonna put a date on this. So I know that, uh, what was it, what's the day today? Uh, October 4th? October, October 4th, 2023. Oh, I just, I cannot remember when I did it. So, so hopefully I, I got <clears throat> all these other pages to go through. So hopefully I'll start filling this guy up. And, um, I'll remember to I'm do my next drawing because you can see how it bled through. All right, I'll put a piece of paper in there so that way uh, it doesn't mess up the next sheet. Right, <clears throat> but this was it's not, it's not too much, there's a few little dots on there, but that's okay. It's still, I can still use it. So, but in case it got really dark because you can see like the dots are in line with my uh, bushes here, right? So, yeah, I'll put a piece of paper out to worry about that for next time. So, <clears throat> so uh, thank you for watching. And uh, But for now, I have a bunch of other videos on my channel you can go look at. And uh, I am growing. I am improving as I go. And uh, um, I'm not a teacher with a degree, but uh, I'm learning. And... Uh, I know how to draw, and um, hopefully every video I'll become better at explaining myself and what I'm doing, and uh, that'll be great. Okay, bye for now.